Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to use a new find at Dollar Tree. Look at this. I really love this. I was like, what in the world is this? <laughs> I found this today and tonight I'm making the DIY with it. So really we are going to need two of these. I'll leave the SKU in the description, but as you can see it has a little hook there. For this DIY we are going to need two. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. Now I'm going to spray paint these gold, but you can do silver, whatever color you like. Alright, so there's some screws on the back, and I'm just going to take my little pink drilly drill and take those screws out. Okay, so what you would do then is just remove the back, flip it over, and then spray the front the size, the top, and the bottom. Whatever color you prefer, if you want to paint it. Now, I decided on gold. Since these two pieces are black, I wanted my gold to be really brilliant. So ahead of time, I went ahead and spray painted to white, and then I went over the white with gold. Okay guys, so I'm back, it's the very next day. And this is what we have. Now, I don't know if you can see the crackle finish. Hopefully you can. The way that I achieved this, in a previous video, I spray painted something in the cold and it gave me the crackled effect and I was saying then that I will probably use that in the future, so that's what I did. I spray painted them white and then put them in the refrigerator overnight and let them get a chill. Okay, so as for the spray paint, it needs to be room temperature. So I took the pieces outside and then spray painted them with the gold room temperature spray paint and that gave it the crackle effect. That's the way that you can do that without actually having to buy anything extra. Okay, so yeah, I have that. The next step would be to take 10 of these tower blocks, line them up and glue them together. I always like to use the square to help me keep it straight. I glue them together with some wood glue from Dollar Tree as well. Again, everything is from Dollar Tree so far. And here's what it looks like after you glue it all together. Just like so. So I went ahead and spray paint around the border and the top silver because I'm going to use a mirror towel and like I said before, mirror towel does not always cover the surface. So I have my mirror towel that I'll be using. But before I do that, I wanna go ahead and glue these pieces together. I'm gonna use my favorite, which is Gorilla Glue. Just put some glue across the top. Now you can skip this step if you want to. It's up to you. I could've kept it really, really simple. Let me grab some paper. All right. So before I glue this together, I'm going to put down some wax paper to keep the glue from sticking to my surface just in case it seeps out. Okay, so while this sits, I want to show you my next piece. Here I have a metal lantern solar light. As you can see, I found it in the plus section. Now, the thing that I like about this is you can remove this piece on the top. It comes out. So you can charge this during the day outside if you want to use it. Or you can put a candle on the inside. You can use an LED candle. But I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And so now you have this. Instead of keeping it black, I went ahead and spray painted one gold ahead of time. And here's what it looks like gold. Isn't that pretty? I've seen these quite a few times. I always wanted to do a DIY with them. And when I seen this, it all came together. But yeah, there's a seam in the back. And that's where we're going to glue this right in the center. Okay? But before we do that, we need to add some mirror tile to this piece. So I'll go ahead and line this up. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the backing because it has adhesive on the back. And I'm going to spray a quick stream of this spray adhesive. Next, I'll trim the top and the bottom with some mirror towel. Thank you. 
Off camera, I did add some embellishments to it. I took two rows of my diamond bling and put it above this, and I'll do the same thing here. On this one, I trimmed it with the diamond bling. This is six rows. And then on the inside, I trimmed it with the diamond bling, and that's four rows. And then right in here, there's two rows again. So okay, so let me say this. Let your piece dry for at least 16 hours, at least. I let this dry 24 hours, so now it's pretty sturdy. If you don't, it's gonna be wonky, okay? So we don't want that, so let it dry at least 16 hours. And here's my diamond bling. Go ahead and just cut two rows. I'll have to cut another piece to go on the back, but let's move on to the next step. Now, because this piece is not too long, I had to cut several pieces. Now, because I put two coats of paint on here, I'm gonna use some of my acetone to remove the paint on the sides so that my diamond bling will stick. So keep that in mind. One coat of paint, the glue could have eaten through that one layer and stuck easily. I think I use two coats of each paint. It doesn't have a good chance of sticking unless I remove it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. And now just put your bling right there on the side. Now, had I known ahead of time that I was going to add bling on the side, I wouldn't have spray painted it so much. So by watching the DIY, you know now what to do and what not to do. A lot of my DIYs I put together while I'm filming. Okay, just like that. I'll go ahead and use some acetone and wipe away this paint on the inside. Then I'll come back and add the diamond. Okay, so now I have my four rows of diamond bling. And that's how you do that. Now to stabilize my wall sconce, I'll hot glue four of these large sticks onto the back of my frames. Now if you want this a little bit blingier, you can add glitter to it if you want to, but I'm going to leave it like it is and add some of these rhinestones. Use my tacket and my rhinestone pickup tool. And in the center, I'm going to just go right around the circle. And I'm going to put one of my larger rhinestones right there in the middle. Okay, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to continue to add my rhinestones off camera. Then I'll hang it on the wall, light it up, and let you guys see what it looks like. And as promised, here's DIY number one. And it turned out exactly the way that I saw it in my mind. Now, if you're not a fan of gold, you can do this in silver. It'll be beautiful in white and silver, white and gold, black and gold, black and silver. Bottom line, no matter what color you choose, it's going to turn out beautiful. Okay guys, so while that dries, let's go ahead to DIY number two. Again, I have another frame. And it's crackled as well. And I also have one of these Dollar Tree shelves. I'm sure you guys have seen these many a times at Dollar Tree. Now this is going to be super easy. I'm going to glue this right in the center of my shelf. 
I'm gonna turn it facing me so I can center it. So what I'm doing now is lining it up in the back to make sure that it's even. Press down. Now, Dollar Tree items sometimes are a little wonky. <laughs> now when I show this from the side, it's kind of leaning forward. So more than likely when I hang it, I'll probably hang it here from the shelf, okay? So I'm going to allow the glue to set up for a while and then I'll come back and decorate. Okay guys, I'm back and this is what we have. Isn't it cute already? <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I want to do is just add a row of mirror tiles across here and across the bottom. And I'm going to use some gold mirror tile. Put it right across the top. Now I'll add some on each side. And now I'll add a row across the bottom, maybe two rows. So let's just do one row of mirror towel all the way across the arch. So I'll do that and then come back. Okay, so I decided to add some across the top as well. It's going to take two rows. And then I'm going to add another single row across here and on the sides as well. Just put that right across there, just like that. Okay. Just like that. We'll do this off camera. And I'll show you this. I just put two rows across here. Just line it up with the front piece. And then continue to go all the way back. And here's what it looks like on the side. So I'm going to finish this off camera, put the mirror in, and see if I want to add any more decorations to it. And last but not least, here's DIY number two. And this is one of my fastest and easiest DIYs to date. And I think this one turned out beautiful as well, and I cannot wait to display more things on it this upcoming summer. The question of the day is, would you rather make DIY number one or two? Okay everyone, this concludes my video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.